Hello everyone, it's Zaid from Z Security, and in this video, I want to answer a very common question that I get, which is, what is the best hacking operating system? Is it Kali Linux? Is it Parrot OS? Do real hackers use these operating systems? And what about Windows and OS X? Before we get into all of this, please make sure you like this video if you enjoy my content. This makes the YouTube algorithm push my video more. It also tells me that you're enjoying my content, which will make me make more videos. So more likes equals more videos. So first of all, let's simplify the situation. Forget about Windows and OS X. Don't get me wrong, they're good operating systems for daily use and for other uses, but when it comes to hacking, they're just not that good because a lot of the hacking tools are simply not designed to work on Windows. You can get them to work if you really try to, but they'll still be buggy, and in many cases, it'll just be really difficult to get them to work in Windows. Now, I know what you're gonna say, but Zaid, you use OS X, and that's correct, but I only use OS X for my daily use. I'm a big believer in separating your domains. So I use OS X for my daily use, but I use a hacking operating system when I want to hack, and I also use several other different operating systems for different uses. So I'd use Tails or Cubes if I'm accessing the dark web, and I'd use other different operating systems for different uses. You can do this by having different computers, or you can actually install these operating systems as virtual machines. And that's actually what I do, and you see me do it in my courses. So I have a hacking operating system and several other operating systems all installed as virtual machines inside OS X, which is the computer that I use for my daily use. You can have them installed inside your Windows machine, the one that you use for your daily use, that's not a problem. And then use each one of them for a different purpose, for the purpose that they're made for. So now that we have Windows and OS X out of the way, we are left with Linux. So the question now is, what is the best Linux hacking distro? Now, if you know anything about Linux, you know that there are so many different flavors and different Linux distros. There are ones that are made for general use, there are ones for everyday use, there are ones for design, and there are Linux distros for hacking, and the most popular, as you know, Kali Linux and Parrot OS. Now, to answer the question, which is best, it's very important to understand how these Linux distros are built. So, we have a number of base general use Linux distros. Examples would be Debian, Red Hat, and Arch. These are usually very stable Linux distros that existed for a long period of time, and therefore, they're usually used as a base in order to build other distros. For example, we have a very common Linux distro called Ubuntu that is designed to be user-friendly and easy to use. Ubuntu is built on Debian, but it comes with a nicer graphical interface with its own software manager and a number of really useful programs that make the operating system easier to use and more user-friendly. Another example is Mint. Mint is built on Ubuntu that is built on Debian. So Ubuntu tried to make Debian more user-friendly, but with the extra added features, Ubuntu became resource-hungry. Therefore, we have Debian, which combines best of both worlds, so it uses its own graphical user interface that is less resource-hungry, but still maintains all of the user-friendliness and the nice features that Ubuntu offers to help make Debian more user-friendly and easy to use. So, these other hacking distros are no different than all of the other Linux distros. They pick a base and they install a number of hacking tools on them. So, Kali, Parrot, and Backbox all are popular hacking distros and they're all built on Debian. We also have Arch Strike and Black Arch and they're both built on Arch. So if you think of it, these hacking operating systems are simply normal Linux distros that can actually be used for any use you want, but someone came in and pre-installed a number of hacking tools on them. So you're probably thinking now that I'm full of shit, and if this was the case, then why do people actually use these operating systems if they don't offer anything new, if they're simply Linux operating systems with tools? Well, the answer is very simple. It's convenience. 
See, back in the day, before we even had Kali, before we even had Backtrack, which is the old version of Kali, we actually used to build our own hacking distros, if you wanna call them hacking distros. So you would go ahead and pick a Linux distro that you like and you're comfortable with, and then you'd install all of the hacking tools and the other tools that you like yourself, and then you would make a backup of this on a storage device or on a CD, and then you can install that on, an, uh, on a real computer, or you can live boot from it and use it for hacking and for other uses. To do this, you had to first of all be very comfortable with using Linux, you have to know the tools that you wanna use for hacking, you'll have to learn how to properly install these tools and configure them and solve conflicts, which is very, very annoying, and you might have to recompile the kernel if you're installing drivers and doing some other annoying tasks. So, as you can see, there is a bit of a learning curve to this, and even if you know all of this, even if you learned it and you streamlined the process, it's still going to be time consuming. When there is updates, when there is new things to be made, it's still time consuming. Therefore, a bunch of really smart people at Offensive Security got the idea of making a team and making a hacking distro. This team will work on this hacking distro and publish it to the world. The world can also contribute to it. And this way we will have an operating system that is made for hacking so we can install it. It comes in with all of the tools that we need to use pre-configured and pre-installed so we won't waste time installing and configuring these tools. And that is the only reason people use Kali and such operating systems, in order to save time. So, like I said, Kali started with Backtrack, which was based on Slacks, and then Kali Linux came in, which is based on Debian. And right now we have the latest versions of Kali and Parrot, and both of them are really, really cool operating systems, in my opinion. There are other good op hacking operating systems, but I think Kali and Parrot really take the spotlight these days. But as these operating systems grew, they tried to tailor for different hacking fields and for different uses. So both of these operating systems now come with thousands of tools, and you probably don't even know how to use a lot of them. Therefore, you're installing these huge operating systems with a huge amount of tools, and you probably don't even need to use a lot of these tools. These extra tools are using your resources, they're taking up space, and they're slowing down your computer for no reason. Therefore, in my opinion, now that these operating systems have grew so much and are trying to become a hacking operating system with the idea of one size fit all, I feel like we kind of need to go back to where we started with you creating your own hacking operating system. Obviously, once you know that hacking is your thing and you wanna continue with this, then it is a very good idea to actually build your own hacking operating system because that way you'll only have the tools that you want to use yourself. You'll also learn how to properly install them and configure them, so if something breaks, you'll be able to fix it quickly. And it's not a problem that you have a limited amount of tools, because let's say you learned a new topic and you wanted to install new tools, you can just go ahead and install these tools and have them part of your own hacking operating system. And instead of downloading Kali or Parrot with a thousand tools and you're only using 10. So bottom line is both Kali and Parrot OS are great hacking operating systems. Which one you wanna use is a matter of preference. But in my opinion, the best thing to do is to actually have your own hacking operating systems with the tools that you like yourself. At the end of the day, like I've been saying throughout the whole video, the operating system that you use does not matter. It is the tools that are important. If you know how to use the tools, you can use them in any operating system. And I know what you're thinking right now. Why do I use Kali Linux in my hacking courses if I recommend creating your own hacking distro? The answer for this is very simple. First of all, convenience. Like I said, it saves so much time of having to go and download a bare Linux and install all the tools that you need to install on it. So it's a really good way to get my students starting and learning really quickly. It's also a great way for me to introduce them to Kali and such operating systems. And as we said before, the operating system doesn't matter at all. It's the tools that you use on this operating system. 
So once they learn hacking in my courses and how to use the tools in Kali, they can use these tools on any operating system. It doesn't really matter as long as they manage to install the tools on that operating system. Anyway, that's just my personal opinion. Let me know in the comments which hacking distro you like the most or do you use your own hacking distro? Also, don't forget to like the video if you enjoy this content and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the latest in cybersecurity.